BBC Television News now presents a special program on today's mass murder in the capital city. Here is KTBC Television News Editor Neil Spells. Good evening. One of history's worst mass murders occurred here in Austin today. By official count tonight, 49 persons were hit by gunfire. There are 16 dead and 33 injured. It started last On August 1st, 1966, chaotic news reports filled the airwaves of the United States about a mass shooting taking place at the University of Texas. As the days wore on, more information emerged as to the shooter and the complete circumstances surrounding this event. It seemed as if no one could stop the madman. Eventually called the University of Texas Tower shooting, the highly trained lone sniper had, in 96 minutes, killed 15 people from distances of 500 yards and wounded another 31 before he was finally silenced by two brave Austin City Police Department officers in an epic gun battle that nearly cost them their own lives. The shooting would be the worst in American history until the San Isidro McDonald's massacre on July 18, 1984. But how and why did it happen? Who was Charles Joseph Whitman? What events in his life shaped his emotional development? Young Charles and his siblings endured a torturous yet financially stable childhood as their father was an abusive alcoholic and well known in town for being a tyrant. In fact, one of the Whitman's neighbors, one Judy Falch, stated that she was unable to recollect the sheer number of times her own parents had called police in the 1940s and 50s in response to Whitman's father beating his wife, children, and family pets. Whitman was an extremely intelligent child, and he did well in school. He became a Boy Scout at age 11, becoming an Eagle Scout three months after his 12th birthday. In this achievement, he is reportedly the youngest Scout ever to earn this rank as fast as he did at that time and in the shortest time span. Graduating from St. Anne's High School in West Palm Beach in June 1959, Whitman graduated seventh out of a class of 72 students. Not long afterward, he and several friends became very intoxicated, and upon returning home, his father severely beat him and then threw him into the family swimming pool. Deciding to leave home, Whitman enlisted in the United States Marine Corps and was assigned to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, where he was an outstanding Marine. In 1961, he was awarded a scholarship, approved and funded by the Naval Enlisted Science Education Program and enrolled in the University of Texas at Austin, which was one path to getting an officer's commission, and he studied mechanical engineering. If you enjoyed this clip and want to see the full episode version, click here and it will take you to it. And as usual, if you like the video, subscribe, like, share, send us comments, and if you wish to really help us offset cost of production, please go to our Patreon page and become a member. And we do appreciate it. Thank you.